2015 is coming in hot. Last month was the hottest May on record. It's also been the warmest start to a year since agencies have been keeping records, and that started in the 1880s. So, who are the players looking to help combat or capitalize on, or both at the same time, hopefully, the effects of global warming? It's a summer-long series we're calling Changing Climate, Changing Business. I want to welcome Proterra CEO Ryan Popple. Uh, Proterra is among the leading providers of zero emission battery electric buses. Just announced a new $55 million round of funding. Uh, so, I guess congratulations on that. And what are you going to do with the money, Ryan? Well, thank you very much for the congratulations. The, the first thing we're going to do with the capital is we're going to grow. We had already reached the point where we had a one year backlog on our first factory, and we wanted to make sure that we could keep up with the growing demand for zero emission transit vehicles in this market. So we're going to open a second factory. It'll be in Southern California, and it'll give us the ability to serve both markets in the United States, East Coast and West Coast, very efficiently. Do different cities have different needs? You know, that's the great thing about this market is that, for the most part, a bus is a bus, and that's, that's the same nationally as it is internationally. Every city across the planet has the same set of problems. You've got growing population, you've got growing traffic congestion, and you have real concerns, even in countries where we would consider that we have pretty advanced regulations on air quality towards things like smog and pollution. You know, I'm going to assume that they're more expensive than a traditional bus, but that you save money on, obviously, fuel, maintenance, etc. So how does it net out as far as cost? Sure. So at the moment, it's more expensive than combustion, but we see a path where EV becomes cheaper on a first cost basis to hybrid, to CNG, and then to the conventional diesel bus. The technology needed to build an EV transit bus is quite simple, and the cost of the batteries is coming down dramatically. So today, the simplest case to think about would be that a diesel bus is about $400,000 for a city, but they're going to spend another million dollars on fuel and maintenance over 12 years. You compare that to an EV bus, and for a 12-year deployment, you can buy the vehicle, the electricity, and the maintenance for a million dollars. So well, you save 400000 While raising money is clearly a successful sign, there's investors who believe in you. Where do you stand on making money? So fourth quarter of last year, we were cash flow positive. We were just about break even in February, and we were cash flow positive in April. So if we wanted to, we could turn off R&D now and become a profitable company in, in the short order. But that's not what our investors want us to do. They see the potential for this technology to completely replace combustion. And when you look out there and see 70,000 diesel buses in cities in the U.S. alone, they're really pushing us to advance the technology further and faster. We've really set the bar for what this technology can do. But over the next five years, you're going to see these vehicles be able to outcompete compete combustion on every metric. All right. Hey, Ryan, thanks very much. Proterra CEO Ryan Popple there with uh, big electric buses, zero emission buses.